Hey guys, welcome back. Tomorrow is a great day to treat yourself to a meal because it is the 10th annual Restaurants for Raphael House, which means 58 restaurants all around the Portland area are donating a portion of their proceeds to support survivors of domestic violence. So right now, we are at Mother's Bistro and Bar. We're gonna go back into the kitchen and get a little cooking lesson. Lisa Schroeder, how are you? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for having us in your new spot. And today, you're gonna show us how you make your mac and cheese. And it's a really cool way of mac and cheese. I call it Nouvelle mac and cheese because there's no roux and butter and flour. Oh. And so people can even get a gluten-free mac and cheese here at Mother's when we use gluten-free pasta. Let's get started. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? I know. So we start out with a quarter of a cup of already cooked bacon. We're gonna render that a little bit so that the fat renders and uh, gives us a a little bit of its flavor. And once the bacon is all heated up, we're going to add about six ounces of heavy cream. A little bit of pepper, not a lot of salt because the bacon has a lot of salt and the cheese has salt. Once it comes to a boil, you add about a half a cup of cheddar cheese. Mix that up. The pan looks super hot. It is super hot. Super hot is important. It moves things along fast and I wanted it to move fast for TV. Thank you. Yeah. The cheese is really the thickener. So while other mac and cheeses you need a roux, our cheese acts as the thickener of this sauce. My pasta's already been pre-cooked. I always like my pasta water to taste like the ocean. If you want tasty pasta, Put a lot of salt in your water and make it taste like the sea. That's a trick. Now I'm gonna let this just reduce a little bit and then I like to always have a garnish on my mac and cheese. Some lovely sour cream and green onions. So it's kind of like a stuffed potato, but in Ooh. pasta. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> Looks pretty beautiful. good, right? Yes. So now you have to taste it so you can tell the viewers whether it's worth it to come here on Wednesday for restaurants yes. for Raphael House. I will do that tough work for the viewers. I will make sure it's oh, not too you. Out. Just like the best mother. I know. I even spoon feed my kids. Oh my god. Good? Can't go wrong oh, with it's bacon. It's so cheesy. Right? And salty. Cheesy. And delicious. Oh, that's so good. And you have partnered with Restaurants for Raphael House since the beginning. This will be the 10th year that you yes. are partnering with them? Yes. And it's really a cause I believe in. Being a survivor myself, it's very important. It's a great organization. The money that we take in that day, we're going to donate 15% of it to Raphael House. And that money is going to provide shelter. Last year, they generated enough revenue for six months of shelter for their survivors. It's a great cause. Okay, so we have our beautiful mac and cheese, and eating the mac and cheese is obviously wonderful. It's delicious, it's amazing. But tomorrow, if you eat this mac and cheese and anything else at 58 restaurants all around Portland, a portion of the proceeds goes to support Raphael House, and that is where Amanda comes in. So all of our 58 participating restaurants are supporting Raphael House of Portland, um, and we are a domestic violence agency that has been supporting survivors for more than 40 years. Uh, so all those funds will help provide emergency shelter in a confidential location, 24-7 hotline, crisis line for survivors around our community, ongoing resources and support, and also prevention education so that we can hopefully prevent people from ever needing our services in the first place. So there's 58 restaurants yes. participate in this year. It's the yes. 10th year, and they're all doing 10 to 20% yes. yes. of your meals. Collectively, uh, it raises a lot of money, and this year, every $100 that, that is raised will provide 24 hours of safety and wraparound support for a survivor or their child at Raphael House. That's amazing! Yes. And tomorrow there are eateries that are open and supporting us all day long from early, early to late night, and there is delivery. So uh, almost 25% of our restaurant partners offer delivery of some sort. It like could not get easier. No. It's, to, it's super To help simple. the community. So you can yes. go to Mother's Bistro yes. and 50 seven other restaurants yes. tomorrow for yes. the 10th annual Restaurants for Raphael House. Yeah. Just keep eating mac and cheese. Yes, enjoy that beautiful and mac and cheese. And help so many people.